Morning, kids. Welcome to Video Monday. What is that? Just another manic Monday. Typical Monday for you lined up, so uh, we figure we vlog it out. Show you guys what to do, what my life is like. So far, I spared you the boringness. Uh, woke up, got the emails done. You know, check the grandma, see what's happening. I uh, just kind of say what's up to uh, the internet, and it's uh, now it's 9.15. I got up probably about 8 o'clock, so handled the emails, all the boring things that um, I can't really show you. Uh, but we got a day ahead of us, man, so morning routine. Let's get it. I'm actually in the middle of something I've done in the past. I don't know if we talked about it in the past, but something that I do from time to time is I try to... Oh, look at this. I'll put the little light on, too. Look at this. Oh. Something I do time to time is I try to um, eliminate things from my life. Now, I don't think I'm really addicted to much, although I do have addictive personality traits. I haven't been like addicted. I, I can't tell you the last time I think, and you can feel it sometimes like, man, I can't get rid of this, you know, like, or you say like, eventually you're aware enough that you're addicted. Um, I can't tell you the last time I've been addicted to something. So, uh, but to remain in control and just to test myself, to test the struggle, to test the brain power, to test the discipline. Um, I'm cutting out energy drinks, which isn't easy because look, we got a uh, rock star, we got 3D energy somewhere. I got all these energy drinks. Uh, I'm cutting out energy drinks. What was the other thing I was cutting out? I can't even remember. This early, I haven't had my coffee yet. So I'm still drinking coffee. I'm not trying to cut the caffeine. Oh, alcohol. See that one, I'm definitely not addicted to. I really don't even drink that much. Um, but I was getting in the habit of having like a beer here and there, which I don't think is a bad habit for the normal human being. But for me, um, it's a non-factor really, because I don't, because I'm always worried about like working out, being hungover, wanting to um, train, wanting to sleep good. Sleep's so important to me. And alcohol, often um, can mess up some of those routines, you know, whether it's a hangover or just messing up your routine and then and then you end up eating a bunch of junk food and you feel bad the next day and you can't train or I can't wake up or whatever it might be. Um, so for me though, um, I was also just feeling down afterwards. Like I felt like, I, like sad or, or like my mood, I got more negative the day after drinking. And that's even if I had one glass of wine or one beer, which is typical for me, like two glasses max is what I would have in, in a weekend. But so I'm cutting out energy drinks, cutting out uh, beer and wine, which is mostly what I would drink. And then uh, straight coffee. So waking up, share the coffee routine. Now I'm not a coffee connoisseur, but I do like my coffee. Um, simple tip for most of you, one, to make better coffee, get rid of the Keurig, that thing sucks. A pour over is really easy, you don't need like any special talent, but even if you don't want to do a pour over and you're just doing whatever, if you're doing a fucking drip or French press or whatever you're into, two things you can do. One, use filtered water or use like good water. So I always use water from my fridge. The better the water, the better the coffee. And then two, always use the bean and grind it yourself. Tastes a little bit of fresher, you get a little bit more of the taste, the flavor involved rather than if you have it already ground and it's sitting in the bag forever. So I always use beans, grind them myself, and I always use fancy water. Or not fancy water, but you get what I'm saying. I'm lucky enough to kind of work for myself, so I put these breaks in, you know, I wake up, I get like the stuff I really hate off my back, the emails, the reach outs, all that kind of whatever, you know? And then, uh, so I drink this coffee, I'm right here at the Twitch station. This is where I twitch out. Little stream deck, also my working office, but it's where I stream every night. Um, so I'll drink about half my coffee here, just kind of chill. And then uh, I have a rooftop patio. So uh, every morning I've been going up there trying to make it uh, more of a habit to be a little bit more mindful. So I'll go on the roof, turn on some music, something chill, uh, and just kind of sit there and kind of think. Um, just kind of think. Uh, <laughs> I don't really got anything to it. I'm no guru. I'm no meditation master, but uh, I think it's sometimes good just to kind of be with yourself and be with your thoughts and think about your life, your actions, who you are as a person. So every morning I try to get some of that. Then that kind of ends up ramping into what I have to do for the day and prepping for the day. Um, and then we get after it. So um, give this thing a thumbs up. We're getting into the day. Let's go. Foot of the day. You guys know I've been on that vintage. I've been on a fucking spree. 
This tea is fuego. Nigo, I don't know if you guys know, but he did this with Uniqlo, and then I think somebody else tie-dyed it, so it's actually not that vintage. But it's like a heavy shirt. I don't know why I like it. It's like a heavy cotton shirt, even though sometimes you sweat a little more. And when you work out in it, it gets real sweaty, real heavy. It just feels comfy. I think it sits well. Just some basic Reebok shorts. These are just my favorite because they're stretchy. They're super comfy. Let me show you guys. We keep the house pretty damn clean, to be honest. I'm not that messy, and Connor is not messy and extra clean. But I guess when you become a homeowner, it's bound to happen eventually. I didn't think it would to me because we're not that handy. But instead of always renting like the lime or bird bicycles or stuff, if you guys seen that, we try to create our own garage here basically. And what happened was we got issues. So welcome to my garage. I basically wanted it so when all the friends came over, all the homies, we had enough whips for everybody. Cause like, obviously I have my car. My car is fine and dandy. It's a beautiful car. It's reliable. It's great. It's very comfortable. I'm very lucky and love my car. But we live on a grid downtown. I'm always just trying to ride. I'm never trying to drive anywhere. Like right now we're going to the podcast. I'm going to ride. So we got two scooters. Scooter number one. Scooter number two. The issue is, is scooter number two has the same issue, but they come with these pumped up tires, right? And it's really hot outside. And so uh, I think they melt and then it, the tube is easier to bust. But the issue is it's on a rim like a car, but we don't know how to get these solid tires that we bought on there. So maybe you guys can comment below if you guys know what the heck we're doing. So these ones don't have air or a tube. So they're right a little rougher, but they're less likely to well, they just won't break. And so these ones still have air in them. And Connor likes to scoot. I like the bike, but same thing happened with my bike over here. Because I don't know if the tube or what busted, but I got a little repair guy coming in shortly. I think uh, this week, actually. There's a mobile repair guy, because I don't have a truck. So this is my favorite bike. This is my Bianchi. This is what I ride everywhere. Gift from my parents back in the day. I uh, just got it repaired. And so that's my favorite bike by far. And this is just another little local bike. But this thing, same thing. It's like too flat to ride, like it's rideable, but something happens, so maybe you can just pump it up for me. I don't know, I'm pretty bad with mechanical stuff. And, and like I can get, I can fix most things if I wanna fix most things, but the issue is I don't have any tools. All the tools are at my mom's house, and I can't get the bikes at my mom's. I could go out there and grab the tools and come back. You guys get it, so we've got the mobile bike repair. But this is the main whip, just a little Bianchi. She's a real beaut. In the studio, this is where the magic happens. 50% facts. The one only Jim McDean, the man who gave me belief from a young age. Saw potential in young Anakin. Now I'm here. Studio's dope though. Jim's made it look really cool. Hopefully there's nothing secret in here. Uh, not currently. I don't think. I like to claim this side even though they're both Jim's side, but I claim this one. Well, I kind of stacked it up on that side for you. With you in mind. I, uh, do you see my Batman shirt? I should have wore it today. No. I got a sick, like, 1990s Batman and Bane shirt. It's pretty dumb. 90s, huh? eBay. I'm an eBay hunter. Wow. So we're talking to uh, Michael Chavez today. Uh, if you guys want to check out 50% Facts, iTunes, every media, it's in the link below. Also, brand new YouTube channel for it coming soon. Coming soon. It'll be there. But uh, we basically take a topic. We try to analyze it, ask questions to ourselves, maybe answer some things we know or have heard, and then we bring on a guest to answer. And today we're talking about boy Halo Champ, Halo Stud, Maybe the Kobe Bryant of Halo video games, um, Optic Flame Sword. So uh, we're going to talk about it, then we're going to talk to him about it, and we're going to talk about pro gaming, training, how do you train to be a better gamer. I would love to be better at Call of Duty, uh, how to stay fit, how to stay mentally ready, and then maybe the process of making money in that world. So we shall see, uh, and then I have to actually get out of here soon because i got to go to the grocery store. Got the podcast, quick store run. We got to train an hour and a half already. That's why I didn't film in the store. Rushing a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, like I said, I'm trying to cut energy drinks. So I just grabbed a bunch of these coffees randomly. I went on my bike in my backpack, so I couldn't grab uh, what I wanted. I wanted to grab a huge, basically like one of these of cold brew for pre-workout. Um, so I don't like hot coffee before I train. It just feels a little weird. I ate a bunch of granola. Shout out to Chibani. Uh, I eat a bunch of yogurt and granola. Talking too fast. Chibani's hooked your brother up with a ton of yogurt. That's kind of one of my main protein sources right now. And so I typically throw granola in there, but it, it's like kind of expensive for what it is. So I went with this. And so I might dump that in some granola right now, get a snack. These are for training, just cause um, I get a little dry mouth while I'm lifting. It's hot as shit here in Northern California. Uh, 
so the gym gets a little hot. And then I, I uh, as always, Bite Meals always take care of me, but that's kind of how I eat. A couple of those, the homies over at Bite Meals send me meals, so I eat those a day. These perfect bars, they're kind of like a protein bar, but they're higher in fat than anything else. So that's kind of my breakfast with my coffee. You, we, you. I don't know if you can see that, it doesn't really matter. Um, but that's basically all I ate today, is I ate one of these bars on the ride home, and I had coffee this morning, so. I need to get some nutrients in me somehow. And uh, calories, so I think I'm gonna do this cereal. I'm gonna save these Gatorades for the uh, lifting. And then uh, we might have to drive. Connor just busted a flat in the other scooter. Like I told you, it's, it's hard being a gangster. So uh, we might drive to Ben's. I like riding, because I like getting some vitamin D. And I also like getting a little warm up, but um, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Back home, drank some coffee. Chilled for about a half hour. Second look of the day. Everyone's been asking like where I get my shirts and everything, but majority of it's eBay and just hunting. You can shout out the boys yesterday, Fitz. They're a vintage store in Vegas. They have a good Instagram or stuff online, but mostly just rocking shit that I actually like. You know, like I grew up with Space Jam. I love Hoop. Rocking a bunch of Jurassic Park stuff. I love Jurassic Park. I love Star Wars. So I got a bunch of Star Wars tees. I'm not into vintage just to be vintage. Like it's not like I'm rocking Metallica shirts because I don't really listen to Metallica. There's a couple bands, shirts I've been looking for, but it's just whatever I come across that I like. I've been buying some like vintage Reebok shorts from the 80s that I think are sick. This hat looks vintage, but this one's actually just retro. They made it a couple years ago, but it's still sick. Kind of spotted. But this is one of my favorite tees. Time to get after it. I think we got front squats, maybe cleans. Definitely a push day, so. Some dumbbell press, some triceps. We'll see what we get into. I had to rush, I couldn't even say what's up. I literally switched my shirt. I'm sorry, I forgot the camera. I ate another bowl of uh, yogi. A little bit of uh, the yogurt. I'll show you guys the exact color that I get. Um, but another bowl of yogurt. I literally just slammed it down. I've been home about 10 minutes. Nothing more, nothing less. I just started the stream upstairs. I feel bad because I'm late. But this is the yogurt we get. It's a Chobani Greek yogurt with no flavoring and no sugar. So those are the stats on it, and for me, it's literally like a protein shake. And then throwing the cereal in there, um, you know, it's like just a little bit of carbies, a little bit of crunch for the texture, because this is like kind of sour, to be honest. And I don't really even like yogurt to begin with, but I like a protein source that I can get easily and quickly, that I can't uh, or don't have to cook. I just throw it down, and then I, I'm gonna probably have a bite meal tonight to end off the night, but we got at least two hours of Twitch, maybe more, depends how the chat's banging out, but we stream every single day. They literally just showed up. Here's the Twitch stream. Here's the, the wide view for your boys. A little glowing. Shout out to my boy Jacob Ross for these sick pictures. Bless in the background. And of course, the one only Barquan and Geo got me these. I'm kind of a nerd. Love it, boys. Love it. Time to play some Call of Duty. And uh, uh, I'll probably catch up with you guys before bed. Didn't have time to vlog it. Again, we're rushing around. Oh, my knee hurts. Oh, boys, I'm getting old. Uh, basically, just ate a bite meal. I ate chicken Alfredo. It's like 60 carbs, maybe 20 fat, 10, yeah, something like that. 40, 50 protein. It's about 8 o'clock. I got a squad of uh, eh, four of us, so we're just jamming out Call of Duty. Probably keep going. We're going to end the vlog here, man. Hopefully, you guys liked a little bit of a day in the life. I'm going to grab a little protein bar, call it a night. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Appreciate you guys. I'm out of here.